you can, you can think of in terms of CC. But again, that can also be countered if you just utilize your Purify properly to counter a Kai. So I'm looking forward to this game. Uh, both sides have their you know pros and cons. Uh, I gotta say, Bruno's really strong pick needs a lot of farm. Early game seems a little bit weak, but it, for Team Luna, they do have the support from Grok and Export to even that up. Whereas for BGK, the early game is more fighter, fighter mode, right? It's more fighter that supports the early game. You have families, you have Jawhead, those fighters. They're really, really strong, so they're gonna help BGK to even to ease up ease up the early game so they have a better game, a smooth transition to the mid to late game where carries the mission. If it comes to the mid late game, I feel Savannah has the hard job on her hands trying to CC the enemy team while they're fed. It's gonna be one tough task to do. So they're gonna I'm gonna have to see how they're gonna farm up this burn to get to that late game. Yeah, definitely, because this is not gonna be an easy task for in the blue, you know. It didn't even set them back because it looks like uh, Team Luna had a late start to their blue as well. So yeah. not looking too bad. Now speaking of that, the former rotation down the bottom side, same as Luna, the counter rotation. Just make sure that nothing is get done in the bottom lane. Even though they have the cannon minion, but Luna with their rotation will make sure PK will back away from the tower. Akai jumps in, find himself a stun! The chin says he comes in, have to pop that flicker just to get away, but it's not gonna happen! The flicker flip from the Johad could save the day and give PDK the first blood of today's game. That's exactly the start that they want to because under farm in that marksman up look up. So to even up the early game, it's actually a 2 2 start. Carry may not get the wrap up, but it's not matter. Speaking of that bottom lane, once again, Engage comes in successfully. Another pick from the side of Team PDK top lane. Hui looking to find a dive. He's gonna do enough damage and he's still alive. Grog with the ultimate, can't find enough. Nanosol completely just went wide. Hui is still alive, gonna stay a little bit longer, buy a little bit more time. It's a 1 to 1 trade across the map. But, we actually find a trade on the opposing side lane. I mean, this is 3 to 1 so far. Okay, there's no contest whatsoever. And because of that, PDK will completely extend their lead to 1,000 gold on the top side. We have a skirmish coming in. Grok taking a lot of damage. He's very tanky, though. Not gonna be tanky enough. He will be slain by Carry. One more kill. What a great condemnation, though. Bruno will find a kill in retaliation. It's a 1 to 2 trade to the favor of BDK. They're looking for more. The stun connects on Illus, but is able to run away fast enough with that sprint. Now the flip comes in, he doesn't have the shield, tower has already been taken down, BDK looking to find more kills on the map, taking the total kills board to 6-2 to two with a 3,000 gold lead. What? In fact, they both had Bounty Hunter, that's what I was saying, and then, but obviously BDK has a lot more objective on the map against this. So look at that damage, one second skill, no, no auto attack needed. They will find one more kill onto Luna's support. That's what I was saying. Nana might be too confident on her ability to tank those damages. And now Fu is looking to dive in a little bit further. Yield has already popped that sprint. Not gonna get this red buff for Team Luna. They successful. Now Rafael was second booty speed boost. Everybody, Yield is still on the tower. No shield available. And he will be taking on double kill for Zane. And they're running over with this game right now. Okay, yeah. Seems to be doing a lot of coverage, even given the Brock. Savannah. Savannah trying to run away. Can he do it? The speed boost? It seems like it's not gonna be enough. One more second ability connected. Carries damage and item completed. This guy is just an absolute monster right now. They have to kill Zane on the carry if Luna cannot find a way to effectively shut down this carry. So, oh, look at that. Grok has been stunned by Ruffles ultimate. He's trying to run away right now, but one more stun will find a kill, and Akai will go in for that. He will trade his life for it, but what cost? The entire Team Luna is just crumbling down in their own base. Expert has been taken down. Bruno is stuck in base by this Hui, this monstrous. This person is not letting this guy do any damage to defend this tower. There's still minions at the high ground tower. It seems like, you know, look at the map. You can see the bottom lane. PDK is pushing once again. And Zane just poking left and right with that second skill. Grok cannot take the damage. Have once again to pop the L just to get away. But it's not gonna be enough. Double kill to the uh, PDK marksman. And they will take kills as well as, well as objectives. Mid lane high ground tower is not just one tower falling down, it's two tower falling down. And Mulba Zane will take a triple kill. This might be a maniac. There's no shield for this person. Thamus will take the kill onto the export. Finally, a shutdown to the carry. Mega kill on the Bruno, but it's not gonna be enough. It's one versus the four at this point. Jaha is still alive. Thamus is still alive. And Bruno just cannot do anything on his defense. BDK will take the game one of North America Open Season Championship. Group stage.
If you notice, once you use the ultimate, everybody kind of die at the same speed, right? If you look at their HP bar, they all shrink, they all shrink at the same speed. And that's, th that's why this hero is actually so good against a lot of tanks in the current meta. And then, sure enough, we're gonna walk into the game two. He needs to find farm moment, and then he needs to find out what he can engage on. Claude, if not, don't even bug with their team. Farm lane. Mada fell the second ability, now can jump in, but he got knocked out by the Kufa right here. Lin will have to pop the O just to stop the O3 from Zane. He's taking very, very low, and first blood will actually be taken down by Team Luna. Amazing turn on the team fight. Nuggets will have to pop the flicker just to get himself to safety with that first pick, the first blood pick right here. Another stun connects, the poison connects, the Kufa have nowhere to go, a double kill for Team Luna. An incredible opening despite a disadvantage, despite the loss in the first game. That doesn't stop them from continuous aggression on how they play the game. Yeah, Dave, I don't know why you ever make me do predictions here. It always turns up opposite. It already looks like out. And you have the bounty hunter. Oh, the ultimate comes down from but down right here doing so much damage to Zane. That pop the flicker just to get away. But it's gonna be enough. But Lin was the ultimate in the back line. Now you have a stranded Glock right here. Zelda will be taken down. Kush will be taken low. And there's nuggets of nowhere to go. Maybe a double kill once again to Team Luna. As we're coming in with a perfect, beautiful ultimate onto Madoff will be taken down. Yosa, despite his best effort, cannot find any damage anymore. It's a two-to-one trade to the favor of Luna. Yeah, see, the bounty hunter works great. I know on... Uh, we're, we're, we're finished in this battle. Quite, uh, we're almost there. Speaking of that, mid lane, another engage comes in, but not taking very low. But here is Lee making entrance into the team fight, finding not only one, but two kills already. As no casualty from Team Luna yet. Zane, despite finding a kill into the back line, but Mag put himself in a really, really deep situation. Fearless find himself one versus one against Zane. Not gonna happen. He'll be taken down. A very, very interesting positioning from Team Luna right here. Zane will try to get away. Can he find an escape right here? You have Hylos to stay in the stay in the back, and they will finally shut this guy down. A one-to-one -one trade. That was a goal against PDK. Now on the bottom side, Zaltra found himself. Have nowhere to go. He has the ultimate. Can't get run away. One more all attack. Not gonna happen against the Ling. Asmara coming in for the shutdown onto the Selena. And they're gonna try to run away. Fearless with the ultimate. Try to find the flank. Try to find the damage. Asmara will be taken down. Killing spree onto this jawhead. And one more trade as Uranus will take down the Badan. But Luna Fearless standing from might be too confident on his ability to escape. Double coming Uranus. And here is Team PDK turning the whole fight around as McHugh seems like has nowhere to run. Just like the Grok dying a few seconds earlier. Says so Zane's so farm right now. He's just continuing to use the enemies to get the stacks. Just being at a Jawhead looking for the flank. He got Esmeralda. Jaw will be absolutely obliterated from the map. Esmeralda stay alive for now. But down with a 3 minute ultimate. A beautiful execution from Team Luna right here. It's going to be enough to kill the Zane. No one's finding the flank. And Esmeralda jumping in with a beautiful 2 minute stun right here. Lee's taking very, very low. And he will be taken down by Zane. And he will jump away. A maniac to the BD BDK marksman, and they're dominating this game. Wow, yeah, they looking for the good. savage. Uh -huh. And but that was like, was it worth it? <laughs> but that was like, no, not gonna happen this time. Coming for another game, gate by blue right now. Yeah, blue, blue side buff, but taken by Link. Ultimate comes down once again. Beautiful ultimate from Adal Nip Don. Getting everybody low, but not low enough. Kufa with a beautiful ult. Gun Tupo on the wall, but has been taken down. So, one to one trace so far. Link's looking for more damage. He doesn't have the damage to kill the Grok just yet. He's still looking for more auto attacks. This double kill for Team Luna. They're looking for the triple kill. Kufa's taking to one HP. Shutdown finally came out. A double kill to the Hylos. Link got knocked out. Fearless have to pop the L to get away. Can he make it successfully? Zane's still in the back. Doing so much damage to the entire team of Team Luna. Luna. Lu has been secured by Asmerada, but what cost? He will fall as well. They will jump away, but McCube is staying at 1 HP. Double kill to the BDK Marksman. They're looking for a triple kill. They're looking for a Maniac. This might not be a Savage. This might not be a Savage. There's definitely a Maniac coming in. Lee's looking to get away. He's sitting in base right now. And BDK won the Savage. Won it now. Can't make it happen. Phil has popped the ultimate. No, not going to happen. Despite the Purify. And everybody have to walk away. Another attempt. A really good attempt. Unfortunately, Kufra oh, looking, no, looking engaged. Knock up the ultimate, doing so much damage. And now you have Kush stuck onto the wall. He'll be taken out by the tower shots. He does need more tidy. Zane in the back line, being flanked by the fearless, but it's not gonna be enough damage. He will stay alive. Maku found himself one versus three in the front line. This marks him to do way too much damage, despite all their entire team's dive. They just cannot find the flank, cannot find the damage enough 
to kill the marksman before Zen life steal back to full HP. The Sim should be a landslide for the BDK's favor. They have the base, they have the minion wave, but not find the kill, but it doesn't matter. He won't change the outcome. As Zane is looking to destroy everybody in the base to find one more kill, he'll be taken down. There is a lore working on the base right now. Five people acing the base. This is the game for BTK. Yeah, letting the minions finish it for them. They're like, 